Welcome to another presentation from Yahweh Nisi School of Ministry, where we bring you the word of Yahweh while honoring the Hebraic roots of the Bible. Are you ready to walk in your godly purpose and calling? Don't hesitate any longer. It's time to serve Yahweh. Visit our website, www.serveyahweh.com for courses, ministry training, and more. Meanwhile, stay tuned for another great teaching from Yahweh Nisi School of Ministry. Yahweh Nisi Ministries presents Table Talk with Torah, honoring the Hebraic roots of the faith, with your host, Sonia Anderson. This is Table Talk with Torah. I'm Sonia Anderson. And I'm Dave Dombeck. Today's topic is Yeshua, our peace. Today's key verse is coming from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 14 through 15, which says, For he himself is our peace and our bond of unity. He who made both groups, Jews and Gentiles, into one body and broke down a barrier, the dividing wall of spiritual antagonism between us, by abolishing in his own crucified flesh the hostility caused by the law with its commandments contained in ordinances, which he satisfied so that in himself he might make the two into one new man, thereby establishing peace. Today's talking points are, how can we establish Yeshua as peace in our hearts? In what way is Yeshua the cornerstone of unity in our lives? And how can we maintain our peace through the Holy Spirit? So in what way is Yeshua the cornerstone of unity in our lives? And I was going to say, Sonia, before we get into the scriptures, and there's many good scriptures here, um, just some thoughts on that. Um, you know, certainly, you know, establishing Yeshua as, as, the, as the peace in our heart, that's, you know, one of the ways, one of the many ways is that just having the daily uh, time uh, with our Savior, with Yeshua, mm -hmm. uh, in prayer and meditation, um, praise and worship, you know, singing to him, praising him, mm -hmm. um, basically walking and talking with him. Um, in a nutshell, if you want to call it that, the having that intimate relationship mm -hmm. uh, with Yeshua is going to bring us, um, is going to, that's how we're going to establish that as, as the cornerstone um of, of unity in our lives when you know and and also kind of always having that that um reassurance in our hearts knowing that there is nothing nothing uh that is too hard or too difficult for him mm -hmm. um there is no such thing as a basket case mm -hmm. uh, all things are possible through him and so even in the you know when you strip away you know, pretty much strip away everything else. Um, what have you got? You've got Yeshua. You've got, you know, our our walk and talk with him every day. And that is the cornerstone of our unity in, in everything we do in our lives. Mm -hmm. That's so true. And even if you are at a point in your life where you feel like you just don't have that kind of time to spend in soaking prayer, I mean, I prefer a tithe of time in that, like two hours and 40 minutes a day. But that could be a lot for some or just a, a overwhelming amount of time to even think about. What What is helpful is to even play worship music to mm -hmm. just keep the atmosphere filled with praise. So if you're washing dishes, you have that worship music going. Oh. Um, your ears, your ear gate, your eye gate, all those things are important. So just to keep that music going, even when you're sleeping, have the scriptures playing, mm -hmm. um, things like that is very helpful. Yeah. I always say, you know, my my expression is, you know, you, you, you always want to go back to the basics mm -hmm. in our lives. You know, there's so many things complicated. There's so many layers of everything in our lives. But really, when you go back to the basics and Talking about our okay, first so we're going to start about with our scripture first here, love. Ephesians, our uh, initial chapter four, very first uh, verses um, feeling, you know, when six. we got that special 
and describe endeavoring the feeling to keep the unity of salvation. You know, when we accept Yeshua as our Savior, bond of peace. Um, there is one body. There's nothing and one that can spirit. compare to that. Um, Even as you're called in, and you know, one you strip away everything else. Like I said, in our one lives, Master, one Lord, one faith, um, one baptism, and and Yeshua one Elohim really does make all everything all in our lives above matter. all. Mm -hmm. um, it's and all about all. Him. It's about and you put focus and, in. You him all. first and i love that one and again that never is forgetting really that, that first love. that last part going back to the very all, very basics that infilling mm -hmm. rebuilding blocks of the holy spirit um, that's right. what matters which is crucial yes yeah. isaiah 53 verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions he was crushed for our wickedness our sin our injustice our wrongdoing the punishment required for our well-being fell on him, and by his stripes, wounds, we are healed. Now, Colossians um, chapter 1, uh, verses 15 to 20. Who is the image of the invisible Elohim, the firstborn of every creature, of all creation? For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him, all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. For it pleased the father that in, in him should all a fullness dwell and having made peace through the blood of his cross his torture stake by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 do not be anxious or worried about anything but in everything every circumstance and situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, continue to make your specific requests known to Yahweh. And the peace of Yahweh, that peace which reassures the heart, that peace which transcends all understanding, that peace which stands guard over your hearts and your minds, and Yeshua Messiah is yours. Second Corinthians 13.11 uh, Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfected, be of good comfort, or comforted, be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love, the Elohim of love and peace shall be with you. Psalm 29, 11, Yahweh will give unyielding and impenetrable strength to his people. Yahweh will bless his people with peace. Mm. Yep, there's so much, um, you know, we're going to read more scriptures about mm. peace, but you know, it's, it's there's so much about our Savior that that equates with peace. I mean, he's mm -hmm. called the Prince of Peace mm -hmm. in Hebrews. It's Sar Shalom. Mm -hmm. um, he is the Prince of Peace. So that alone, just one of his titles, says it all. Too, mm -hmm. he's the Prince of Peace. Right. And that one connection I'm making with all of these scriptures is that if we keep him first, then we will have peace. Yes. If we stay focused on him in prayer, then we will have peace. It's a guarantee, yeah. but we have to keep him first before all other things. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it's, you know, in life, life is life and mm -hmm. things happen and it is so easy. It's just like, well, you know, it's called the talk about the straight and narrow way, you know, and you're, you're traveling down the road. And as long as you're focused straight ahead, um, you're going to stay on the road and you're going to stay within your lane and everything's going to be good. Um, but if you are staring to the left or right or up or down or whatever, or distracted, you're not going to stay on the road and things, bad things can happen. And that's, yeah. that's the way it is with life. If we stay focused and keep it, keep our focus on Yeshua, we're going to, things are going to be steady and smooth mm -hmm. and we are going to be at peace. Yeah. So how can we establish Yeshua as the peace in our hearts? Yeah, and that's, uh, again, what we were talking about in the 
earlier about that relationship and that constant uh, walk and talk with him. Um, and just part of that too is just, you know, having that time, that prayer time, that quiet time mm -hmm. with him to just open our hearts and yeah. just let it all pour out. <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing that he has never done, nothing that he has not heard or seen or experienced or whatever. There's nothing, like I said, no, no basket cases, nothing too hard, nothing impossible for him. He has heard it all. <laughs> But I think he wants us to just pour our heart out to him, right. especially when we're, we're dealing with problems and issues and troubles in our lives, which, like I said, life happens and there are troubles and concerns and worries and everything. That mm -hmm. is life mm -hmm. on this earth. It's not a perfect, but his kingdom will be perfect and it is perfect. But in this life, on this earth, um, we have to deal with what we have to deal with. Right. John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, my perfect peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be afraid. Let my perfect peace calm you in every circumstance and give you courage and strength for every challenge. Uh, also in the, the Gospel of John, uh, 1633, these things have I spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. Mm -hmm. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a clear distinction. In Yeshua you have peace, in the world you have trouble. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I mean, it, you can't get more clear than that. There's mm -hmm. two paths to go on there. Mm -hmm. It's very, very clear. There's, you, you, there's, there's no doubt there. Right. First John four four. Little children, believers, dear ones, you are of Yahweh, and you belong to Him, and have already overcome them, the agents of the Antichrist, because He who is in you is greater than He, Satan, who is in the world of sinful mankind. Yeah, I, I've always loved that scripture, you know, greater is he that is in you. And again, that's that infilling, mm -hmm. indwelling of the Holy Spirit. That's greater than he that is in the world. And we know who they're talking about there. Um, mm -hmm. and it's such a powerful and reassuring um, scripture mm -hmm. to stand on that. Um, Romans uh, chapter five, verse one. Therefore, being justified by faith, or let us have peace with Elohim through our master, Yeshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. Romans 15, 33. May the Elohim of peace be with you all. And then Romans uh, 3, and verses 20 to 26. It's 3, 20 to 26. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. Mm -hmm. But now the righteousness of Elohim without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of Elohim, which is by faith of Yeshua HaMashiach unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no distinction. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of Yahweh being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahshua, our Messiah, whom Elohim hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past or because of the passing of, over of the sins done aforetime through the forbearance of Elohim to declare I say at this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Yeshua. Colossians 3.15 Let the peace of Yeshua Messiah, the inner calm of the one who walks daily with him, be the controlling factor in your hearts, deciding and settling questions that arise. 
To this peace, indeed, you were called as members in one body of believers, and be thankful to Yahweh always. I like the Amplified Bible that explains how we get that peace. You have that inner calm by walking daily with him. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, 2 Thessalonians uh, 3.16. 2 Thessalonians uh, 3.16. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. Yahweh be with you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this one, how can we establish Yeshua as a peace in our hearts is really by making that commitment to walk with him and stay in daily communion with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what uh, it reminds me, you get the flashbacks, you know, from, you know, songs that, you know, from many, many years ago, maybe you haven't sung mm -hmm. a song for a while, maybe you have, um, but they come back, the Holy Spirit just brings them to mind. And the one that's coming to mind right now as we speak here is the song, Just a Closer Walk with Thee. Right. Yeah. You know? And that's such a precious song. Some of those old, those oh, old, yeah. those old hymns, boy, they're, they're, they're so precious, the words in them. And they're, they're so special. Um, and they really have a deep meaning. And especially at different times in our lives, you know, when we mm -hmm. really needed to hear that song. Right. It's that reassurance. But, but it re does remind us, um, you know, daily walking close to the and as it goes, the different verses in that song. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, think about what did Adam do? He walked and talked with Yahweh in the garden mm -hmm. every day continuously. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, where Yahweh wants us to be. Right. So how can we maintain our peace through the Holy Spirit? Like once you have this inner peace, you do want to maintain it because the enemy will disrupt. He'll do whatever he can to interrupt that peace. Yep. So Romans 8, 6 says, Now the mind of the flesh is death, both now and forever, because it pursues sin. But the mind of the spirit is life and peace, the spiritual well-being that comes from walking with Yahweh, both now and forever. And then uh, back to Romans, uh, chapter 14, uh, verse 17. For the kingdom of Yahweh is not meat or eating and drink or drinking, but is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And Romans 16, 20, the Elohim of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The wonderful grace of Yeshua Messiah be with you. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13, which is 20 and 21. Hebrews 13, verses 20 and 21. Now the Elohim of peace that brought again from the dead, uh, our master Yeshua, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you or in us, that which is well-pleasing in his sight through Yeshua HaMashiach, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. James 3, 17 through 18. But the wisdom from above is first pure, morally and spiritually undefiled, then peace-loving, courteous, considerate, gentle, reasonable, and willing to listen, full of compassion and good fruits. It is unwavering, without self-righteous hypocrisy and self-serving guile. And the seed whose fruit is righteousness, spiritual maturity, is sown in peace by those who make peace by actively encouraging goodwill between individuals. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the next one's from the Psalms. And this is, of course, the longest of the Psalms, uh, 119. Uh, 119 verses 165 and 166. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. For they have another version of that, another translation is, um, and they have no occasion of stumbling, 
But Yahweh, I have hoped for thy salvation and done thy commandments. And so there's both doing his commandments um, and also hoping for, says thy salvation, that's talking about Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First, there's First Thessalonians 5, 23. Now may the Elohim of peace himself sanctify you through and through, that is, separate you from profane and vulgar things, make you pure and whole and undamaged, consecrated to him, set apart for his purpose, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept complete and be found blameless at the coming of Yeshua Messiah. Yeah, that's a great scripture, and it's like really kind of preparation for, you know, when you uh, do your um, conclusion of the teaching, which you always do, basically, about knowing Yeshua and everything, and that's really kind of preparing you for that. Uh, but just a few thoughts here on your, on the question, you know, your third question here, how could we maintain our, our peace through the, through the Holy Spirit? And it's, it's really, again, by walking in the spirit and it's, it, it's, it's not in the flesh. We're never gonna, we're never gonna maintain our peace through the Holy Spirit, if we're trying to do things in the flesh, right. um, in the carnal realm, it's not ever going to work. It has to be in the Holy Spirit realm. And that's by walking in the Spirit and having that, um, that line of communication constantly open uh, to Yahweh and His mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Um, and that includes, and it's, it, 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 it includes... Uh, lots and lots of things, and each one of us is different, and and we're individually, and we're individuals, and, and and Yahweh has a special way of communicating with us, and and we have special ways of communicating with Him. We're all somewhat different, and that's a good thing. But some of the ways that we could keep that line of communication constantly open is praying in times, um, in our prayer language, the, mm -hmm. the language, the heavenly language that. Yahweh gives us when we get the Holy Spirit, um, singing uh, also in tongues. Um, and then at times really just allowing, sometimes all it is is just feeling his presence, being in his presence, and just allowing that special anointing. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, the one scripture talks about, you know, about pouring the oil on the on, on the beard and, and it ran down Aaron's beard. Mm -hmm. And it was that, that, that holy anointing oil of the Holy Spirit, it's warm and it's, it's comforting. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it, you can't describe it unless you are there and you actually feel that, but allowing that special anointing of the Holy Spirit to just overflow us. Um, there, I, I always say there's no greater feeling than, than, than having that, just feeling that anointing of, mm -hmm. of, of the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, and even, when you're in that realm and when you're, when you're walking and talking, you're in the Holy spirit realm and you feel that anointing. Uh, my feeling is my, and, and, and it, and it's so true that even the toughest problems um, and challenges or heartaches that are going to be thrown in our way in life, which they will, like we said, how many times you say life is life and it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Um, and there are going to be heartaches. There's going to be challenges and problems and concerns and worries and things that happen. Um, but it, it's going to make those, those things um, bearable. Um, and we're going to be able to get through them um, with the help of, of the Holy Spirit. And I know just two examples in my life recently that happened um, that really helped me get through some very difficult times. One was, you know, my dad passing mm -hmm. uh, about a year and a half ago from this time of this recording here. Um, it was about a year and a half ago. And, you know, he lived a full life. He was all going on almost 86. So he lived a pretty full life. He didn't die young or anything. And, you know, everybody has so many days on this earth and that, that's, right. it is. It is life. That is part of life. But it was tough. It was, but Yahweh got me through a very, you know, very tough set of days and weeks uh, after he passed, um, and that comfort that he gave me. 
and another one about you know the, that that Holy Spirit and having that peace when all you could use use the expression all hell is breaking loose. I mean, literally, <laughs> everything is going crazy around us, um, but we're at peace. We're like that, you know, in the eye of the hurricane. You know, you got swirling winds around us, and we're right in that dead center, and it's nice and calm. And there's, there's no wind, and it's the sun's out. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and we could have that feeling. And I kind of, you know, going back to the very early days, very, very early days and weeks of the uh, COVID uh, pandemic, and I really did have that peace. Everything, everybody was in fear and not knowing what's happening and everything. And I really had a, a very strong sense of peace during that um i just knew that yahweh was in control and he was going to bring us through and he was going to protect us and i really didn't have any fear and i had a peace you know and i'm not bragging and i'm sure others were that if, if you if you were in that realm and and, it, and having that walk that close walk with yahweh at that time you were in the same position that i was in because i didn't i that was really i was at peace when a lot of people were not in peace, just the opposite. Right. At that time, I think anyone who walked closely with Yeshua was benefited because he was speaking directly to, to his people about what to do, what not to do. If yep. you're going to wear a mask, wear a mask, go outside, stay in. It, he was really speaking to each one individually. So in order to even have that peace, you have to keep that relationship. It's so crucial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and and it is an individual uh, walk and an individual relationship mm -hmm. because the, the instruction, the guidance that he gave me during that time was certainly different than what he gave you. Some there certainly were similarities, I'm sure. Yes. But in my circumstances and my situation, what he told me to do or not to do, I'm sh were, were at least somewhat different than what he told you, and that's, right. a, that's fine. And mm -hmm. we're individuals. We're you know we're different, mm -hmm. and Yahweh knows that, and he knows the situation for each of us in our lives. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to have that peace in your heart, the peace that passes all understanding, the peace that never leaves you, never forsakes you, never walks away from you, you need to know Yeshua, who is the Prince of Peace. So Romans 10, 9 through 13 says, if you acknowledge and confess with your mouth that Yeshua is Messiah, recognizing his power, authority, and majesty as Elohim, and believe in your heart that Yahweh raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart, a person believes in Yeshua as Savior, resulting in his justification, that is, being made righteous, being freed of the guilt of sin, and made acceptable to Yahweh. And with the mouth, he acknowledges and confesses his faith openly, resulting in and confirming his salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him, whoever hears to trust in and relies on him, will not be disappointed in his expectations. For there is no distinction between Jew and Gentile. For the same Lord is Lord over all of us. And he is abounding in riches, blessings, for all who call on him in faith and prayer. For whoever calls on the name of Yahweh in prayer will be saved. May Yahweh add a blessing to the reading of his word. And I'll see you on the next Table Talk with Torah.